Ladies and gents, hold on to your socks. You're going to flip with these. Or split with these. Hey guys, how are you doing? Thanks a lot for joining. My name is Devagaro and I'm super thrilled of having all of you guys once again joining. And this review is something very interesting. It's actually a first for me as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. All right, let's get into the review. As you can see, this is not a traditional box of sneakers that I would review. However, hey, we're here to learn, we're here to find out new things. So, and actually I also include myself. So um, I was talking to one of my brothers and he is very much into tech wear type of shoes and sneakers or also body wear. So I thought, you know what, let's give it a shot, makes sense. I'm really not sure if I'm gonna be holding on to these probably not but let's get into it all right guys so as you can see first of all this is a very interesting box it's um definitely a nike sneaker and you can see over here it's one of this is ispa i think it's i'm pronouncing it the right way ispa um it's one of the sub brands of nike and you know the, you know how nike has acg obviously nike sb uh, for skateboarding and this is ISPA and I believe that it um, stands for improvise scavenge protect and adapt so whatever that means this is what it represents okay so it has a bunch of different um, stickers and it's pretty interesting it kind of looks like um, your box like from the outside you know this this double cardboard box that you would get and then you open it up and then you get your, your sneaker box. So it kind of resembles that, all right? So you can see different, I really don't know what this 0.01 means over here. Perhaps I'll just zoom it in a little bit. If any of you guys knows about it, please leave it down in the comment section below. I'm super interested about, you know, I'm curious to know what that is. I did my best try to find out, but clearly wasn't successful. So, you know, it has a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, branding, I would say, and a lot of uh, messages, Nike Ispa, Improvise, you know, it repeats the same stuff. It says item, footwear, quantity, you know, all these different things. But guess what? We're not here for the box. Let's look at the sneakers, okay? So the first thing was super interesting. These come with your own socks. So I was like, yeah, you know what? This is so cool. It comes with your own socks. That's awesome. Cool, and fine, we'll get to these in a minute. So these are the shoes and the name of these sneakers are Nike, I think Nike Split Drifter. Yeah, I think, yeah, so it's, hold on a second. Gosh, guys, see, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's a Nike Drifter Split Ispa, all right? So these are the shoes. I think that the idea is super cool. And I really give kudos to Nike for pushing um, the envelope on this and uh, experiencing and trying different things. So the first thing is that this gives me the vibes of Japan, kind of like a samurai. Um, the, the shoe is super, super dope. Um, it's very tech wear, so it's kind of like tech wear meets samurai or something like that, or even a ninja. I also think that they've collaborated with um, certain personalities in Japan, or at least designers, um, with these new ISPA um, inspired uh, split toe shoes. All right, let's talk about the sneaker a little bit. As you can see, it's a bit wacky. So I'm just gonna do my best in trying to uh, explain everything that's going on with these sneakers. And let me pull first of all the other one so you can have a, a good look at both. Let's put these aside. Okay, so 
I guess let's start. Let's let's jump into the elephant in the room. All right. Um, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This is this is clearly it. So on the toe box, it's not a box. It's actually a split box because it's kind of like a sandal type of uh, design. So you have your your big toe and then your other toes over here on the side. And um, I think it's called also tibby tibby toe or something like that. Can't remember. But anyways, you get the point. There is a Nike swoosh embroidered on the outer side of the tippy toe and you have these two types of um, fabric that resemble like a, a flip-flop pretty much. Um, then the, the actual material and the fabric, it's very stretchy. Like I guess you, can, you guys can see it. So it stretches and it has white polka dots on the interior on the medial side as well as the outer medial side and also on the heel you have the heel tab over here you know pretty much just you know for one one finger over here um you have this deconstructed look on the inside uh, sock liner there is this um, black dot i guess on the back so moving to the midsole we have a white midsole with two overlays of material that closely resembles gravel um it's very very soft so i'm 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 thinking that it adds a lot of comfort to um you know when you're walking that's pretty cool in the back you have a heel clip that sits just on top of the rear uh overlay flipping the shoes to the outsole we can see it's all in black with a translucent hit that sits in the middle of your foot and runs towards the back. So this is where we come in and talk about socks, the extra pair of socks. That's really cool. You're like, yeah, woohoo! I get an extra pair of socks. But as you can imagine already, it has a purpose. And it's because if you wore just your traditional normal socks, it would be super uncomfortable, right? So you need these to wear these, which I don't really think it's that practical. Um, so that's a big turnoff, to be quite honest. And uh, for all of the cool features that it has and incorporates, it has a big backdrop. As you can imagine, I'm not going to be doing an on-feed for you guys because I'm probably not going to hold on to these. Maybe I'm going to be tossing them. So, you know, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And for that reason, in terms of sizing, I can't really give you some kind of an idea on how these fit or how comfortable they are. I mean, I think they're very comfortable, but I can't, I can't tell you. Um, I don't even know how the whole split toe situation, you know, sits, I'm not really sure. Um, but again, these are very cool in terms of a new idea. Um, I really like that. So I just wanted to, you know, grab these while I could show the case them to you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Is this something that you think, you know, that you would um, consider or it's definitely too avant-garde for you guys. Let me know. I'm super curious. And with that, you guys have all been debriefed and we can officially declassify the Nike Drifters. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate every single one of you guys because if it's not for you, this channel does not exist. Thanks a lot for smashing that like button, hitting the notification bell, and very important, subscribing. Please keep on subscribing. I really appreciate every single subscriber forms and enriches this entire community that we share so thanks a lot i appreciate it and with that always fresh never stress until next time guys cheers